Hey, it's Jabu. Welcome to Brickzar, your home for vintage Lego. And I left my cutters. Can't go too far without Lamar. And does that rhyme? Can't go far without Lamar. Anyway, this is a package that was only shipped a couple weeks ago, <laughs> which it came from the Netherlands. And it's a purchase, but it, I think it also includes some things. I don't know what's in here. Um, and I have another, an order from BrickLink from July that I'm still waiting on. So it makes me wonder how this got here so fast, but my package from July, I'm still waiting. But, you know, the package, it said it loved me, but July. Um, this, though, is more like a letter size, so maybe that has something to do with it. But uh, this is, uh, we're going to open it up and see if I can do this. Because I don't want to cut it because it has instructions in it. And it has something that is on one of my wanted lists as far as instructions. And stickers, I think. So let's see if I can, okay, yeah. I think I can do this without destroying it. Well, maybe not. Try this. There we go. How to open a package. Right. <laughs> okay. There we go. There's some extra things in here. Oh, check it out. All right. I'm sure I got everything out of here. All right, so... I don't know if there's a, a note. Hold on a minute. Oh, yeah, here we go. So it's like, I don't know if I should read the letter and show the things. Huh. Interesting. All right. So it says, hello there, Jabbo. As promised, here is your long-awaited package. I made sure to put as many goodies in there as possible. First of all, the 1590 ANWB breakdown assistance. Um and most of the stickered pieces are there. So that is the thing that he had that I wanted, which is this. The A -N -D A -N -W -B Breakdown Assistant. So it's got various stickers, if you look close enough. And let's see where he put... Yeah, they're in this Nixo Knights thing. So there's a bunch of the stickers. There's the one that's on the door right there. Got the telephone one, that's important. It's a lot of the stickers. Yeah. So that'll help me out a lot to having it close to com complete. Because most everything else I can get from my collection, it's just those sticker pieces. So he's got the door sticker pieces. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them. So that's going to work out. And is that many up for bricks? Did Manny Oak for Bricks just break down? Oh, man, he wasn't even born yet. What year did this come out? <laughs> 1982. Manny Oak for Bricks, man. You weren't even born. Your car has already broke down. And you should totally do a video on your tragic experience. It's not funny, but you can make it funny. All right, so didn't mean to get sidetracked there. Uh, it says also some of the generic pieces that came with it said originally in the instructional booklet in good condition in my opinion. So I think I agree with your opinion of that. It says I also included a bunch of instructions to classic 9 volt train sets. Which here is one. Uh, the classic push train. Passenger train. This is set does not have a motor but it builds those two uh, cars there, so that's one of them. Oh, <laughs> uh, it is. all right. Now this one, don't go try to brick link this set together. It'll be a, you might as well just find somebody selling one, but because these wheels are expensive, and the train motor is 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 in the tender. That's where the 12 volt motor is. That red motor is expensive, and these large wheels are expensive. That black window is expensive. It's got a lot of expensive parts. Let me just say. All right. And hold on. He, no, another one. Train station. I can't remember. Did I piece? I was going to piece this one together. Did I ever finish doing that? Do I have a video on this? I can't remember. That's another classic 
uh, station. Oh, we got another one, a smaller station, <laughs> 7834. This is one I'm not sure where I put it. I think I got the set. I don't know where it is. This also has the rare big tree there. Let's see. All right, so that's that. He says, thank you. He says, I didn't have the sets to go along with it, so I figured you could have them. Thank you very much for that. He says, I also included an incomplete copy of the instructions for 321 clowns missing step four, which is this, which actually is okay. You know, because I have this, I bought uh, a torn one. And I have to actually go find that video. And you know what? I actually don't know where I put those. Hold on. Yeah, I couldn't find them. So <laughs> I bought a copy of these in a recent BrickLink order that was also missing part of it. But it was missing like a chunk like this. So it may also be missing part of step four. Uh, but this has more of it. Um, it's weird that the, an inner piece is missing. So the clown set is one that I do want to build. And they're simple enough pieces to, to get. I can probably go through all my vintage stuff and find these. Usually the black pieces are harder to find in some of the elements because they didn't make as many of them. Uh, the red and white is pretty common. Sometimes yellow can be hard to find. But um, I, I do want to do the clown set. But this, So I got two partial instructions. Maybe I can take both and have I mean at least got part of four on the other one <laughs> I don't know how much of four it's missing because I think it was missing like a big chunk in the middle like this so I think I'll probably have everything but like one one of the clown steps um, there so thank you for that you now it shows um, other things on the back I think that you can build from the clown set so I do want to finish piecing together uh, the clown set. He says, I also, oh, wait. And he says, I also put a copy of the instructions for 1592 Town Square, which that is amazing. This is uh, one of those, this is one of those iconic sets that I think a lot of A-Falls uh, like, but especially if you like Castle. In fact, I discovered this after I got the internet. I don't, I don't think this was ever released in the U.S. And I was a castle completist. I was trying to complete all the castle sets. And then when I saw this, I'm like, I know it's modern and it's like a, a, a festival or something to celebrate medieval times. I was like, I got to get this. And it's so hard uh, <laughs> uh, to get it. You, you can piece it together, but then again, you run into the problem with the stickers, uh, some of the utensils that the knights have, things like that. But look at this. This is a rare stickered horse. Look at that eye. Isn't that creepy? <laughs> Who would have thought that they would have had a sticker uh, for the horse's eye? <laughs> but this is this is a classic set, so thank you for that. And he also included the box, or most of the box. Uh-oh, there's more pieces in here. Oh, no. Some just fell on the floor. I have no idea what fell on the floor. Some yellow pieces. Yellow wood! 60 years, yellow wood. No. That looks like it goes to the ANWB breakdown. Those, that's what he was talking about before. Somebody wrote all over this box. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad they put Lego on it. Because how else would we know that it's like, oh, it's because somebody marked out Lego. <laughs> that is terrible. This is like one of the worst boxes ever. I'm not making... <laughs> he says I've included a totally... <laughs> he said I've included a totally mint condition box for 333 delivery truck. <laughs> I love it, man. That's funny. <laughs> Kids, man, I tell you. Oh, what is that? Let me keep reading. Yoda is as well in there, a keychain. Uh, though y Yoda not feel so well. <laughs> Yoda, very unhappy. <laughs> so y you know we collect Yoda. So thank you for that. Finally, I've got a custom... Oh! 
That's... I was like, what is this? Alright, this might be my favorite part of this whole video. Hold on a minute. Finally, I've... A custom-made 2x4 red brick. And this one is actually rare. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna come down here. That's gotta be it. Um, I even signed a certificate of authenticity for it. Uh oh, did I lose it? Oh, here it is. Certificate of authenticity. And he even spelled it right. He says, It is here to certify that the 2x4 red brick is a genuine handmade artifact made from premium parkour wood. Wait. Par the parkour is where people jump on roofs and stuff. This is pad door, pad op wood. Autograph. Oh, okay. It's that kind of wood. Parquet. Like parquet. I think that's what it is. He says, feel free to connect it carefully to a Lego brick. I left more than enough room so it doesn't break. P.S. The two yellow one by ones also belong to 1590. Oh, so these, the 1x2s. Uh, I mean, not 1x1s. He says, I wrote this letter with a fountain pen that must be from the 50s or the 60s. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I got a vintage letter. <laughs> this is the paper for... Wait. This is my second hobby, collecting and using writing equipment. There, you're not the only... There's another... Oh, I got so many people that comment. There's somebody else that collects fountain pens. Um, and I got a... I got a relative, I think, that collects fountain pens. Um, so this is my second hobby, collecting and using writing equipment. I also collect drawing or drafting equipment. I made the certificate of authenticity with an antique pelican graphos. That is really neat. So that's even more rare. You have a holder and in a reservoir and a very large selection of... Oh, I can't read that word. That you can snap off for calligraphy straight lines oh okay you can use this like a straight edge a template for drawing and it's fun to use i really hope you enjoy the stuff i've sent you here i might i might thank you for your patience and kindness and again i'm sorry it took me so long procrastination got the best of me your best regards seep he says, um, thank you a lot for your services. I've been enjoying following your Lego journey for the for four years already. Thank you for following along. So this is the best part of it. So let's see if I can take this apart. Okay. This is the rarest of the rare. The one of one. So at some point after this video, I will do a post of this. Oh, I don't want to break it. I don't even know how you get it this thin. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. So the one of one. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, you know what? I, I, I got to make this the thumbnail. The rarest 2x4 red brick in the world is mine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really enjoyed this. This was a fun video. And who, who knew that so much goodness could be packed in a flat package like this? I don't know which is better. <laughs> I mean, to know that somebody took the time to make this... And how a joke that started from a comment on my fourth haul video all those years ago from 2012, I think it was. <laughs> I don't remember what the date was when I did that video. Um, and now it's led to this. It's full circle. Well, I mean, not full circle. For, full circle means I'll be right back to where I started, which I guess a lot of it is. But I really appreciate you sharing all this with me. And I'm sorry I've butchered or murdered your name. But thank you uh, for this. Um, appreciate the, the extras that you threw in there. And it's really neat to see people incorporating their interest. 
the use, writing this with a vintage pen, using vintage materials to make the certificate of authenticity, and I think even the piece of paper that he wrote it on was old. I have a sister that, uh, I actually have two sisters that are into antiques, and they do get sometimes the old um, paper, like notebook paper, but it's usually from like the 70s or something, not not 50 or 60 years old. Well, I guess 70s is all, oh my goodness, am I getting old? Oh, oh whoops. Well, would not be a Brickzar video without that happening. But anyway, as I as I try not to break the rare two by four red brick. But anyway, thank you. This is uh, really special, and this is going to have a special place. I got to figure out what to do to um, protect this. Um, and yeah, I have the only one in the world. Ha! <laughs> thank you so much. And I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit longer one for just a single package haul, but these are, this is, these are the kind of things that are really fun. It's just the simple things, but also looking at vintage and uh, rare things. I know sometimes people are like, "Why do you keep the instructions? Why do you collect instructions?" It's just there's sometimes they're just neat to look at, especially the older stuff. But um, anyway, I'm going to start working on piecing together that breakdown van before I break something else. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more vintage stuff and stuff that you won't see anywhere else. Thanks for watching.